This is the most efficient diesel heater out of the box with no modifications that I've ever had on the bench. Let's go over the numbers of that first test and then I'll get back to you with the results from the second test. We heated five gallons of water from 19.3 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius in 14 minutes and 36 seconds. We used exactly 136.7 grams of diesel fuel to do that chore. That gives us a kilowatt output of 4.58 kilowatts, which it's rated for five, that's great. And a efficiency rating of 65.6%. That tells me two things. One, it's very efficient. I haven't had a 65% rating out of the box on anything I've tested. Second thing, this tells me that this manufacturer is honest in the sense that they rate this heater real world. So they labeled it five kilowatts. You get 4.58 kilowatts out of it. That's very close. Let's see what this second test uh, yields and we'll go from there. It's looking good though. The heater uses the My Smart Life app, Smart Life app. And I have a, a plug, a wireless plug that I use to, to, to turn on and off some lights that uses the same app. It's kind of cool, it's, it's really bare bones. It just allows you to turn the heater on and off via your Wi-Fi, which is nice because if you're away, you can, oh, I left the heater on, you can turn it on and turn it off. You can set timers to turn on and off at a certain time of day or date. Under the settings, uh, it gives you some device information. And then on the other side, you have a function name and it says voltage setting. So it allows you to adjust the low voltage cutoff. Right now it's set for eight volts. So if you had a lead acid battery situation, you would not want to completely deplete your battery. If this detects eight volts, it will turn off, which that's nice, but you can program that to be whatever you want it to be. So I still need to do some more poking around on the app, but it seems to be just a bare bones, basic wireless controller. The one thing that this, this controller app experience is missing for me is temperature. Nowhere yet in the literature or on the controller itself can I see where this heater will report back to me with the temperature of the fluid. That's not a deal breaker. Not a deal breaker. That would just be like icing on top of the cake is if it would tell me what the fluid temperature was. Because then you could sort of like glance and troubleshoot if you're having problems, especially if the heater is tucked away under the bus or under your van and you don't, you don't you can't hear it or see it.